All right. Good morning. Doug Levi, Strategic Insurance Services here, home of InsuranceSideHustling.com. Doing some training today on networking and how to do some effective networking. So I want to cover a few topics and hopefully keep this short and keep you interested. So I will say I've done a ton of networking over the years. Some I've done well, some I've not done well. Some of you out there that are on the team or may find us outside, you may be a natural networker. You may be someone you show up, you're the life of the party and you're, you know, kissing babies and shaking hands and all that. Some of you out there may be more reserved, more introverted. You're more inclined to go to an event or hide in the corner. Okay. And I will say certainly in the times we're in right now where more networking, which traditionally was done in person is now happening online. That's becoming harder also at some level, right? this whole idea of I can just kind of show up and hide. But really we want to talk about a few things here. So one, we want to talk about your 30 second infomercial. So if you are in a meeting and you do have to present, you've got 30 seconds, what and how do you do it? Well, I want to just hit very high level on this because I want to spend more time on how to have a one-on-one. -on -one. A, you want to be clear. You want to be concise. You want to make sure you're stating who you are and what you do. I've been in groups where I can tell you someone gets up and they go on for 30 seconds. You have no idea what the person does. And you want to ask for a specific referral, especially if you're in a dedicated networking group. So it would say something like a good referral for me this week is someone you know that lives along the beach and owns a boat and needs help with their homeowners and boat insurance, right? Very specific. And then you want to be able to wrap up. You want to be able to restate your name, what you do, and then ideally if you can leave information, a website URL, a phone number, especially if it's memorable. For us, we have those, especially our, our phone number is 866-INS-0123, right? 866-INS, short for insurance, 0123. It's an easy one to leave and a lot of people will likely remember. Second part on the networking, we'll probably do some deeper dives and more training on this, but I wanted to leave a video that we'd have on our training channel to get a lot of people started, is when you have a one-to-one, -one, and those of you that don't know a one-to-one -one is basically you're in some sort of a networking group, whether it's a BNI, an NPI, Leads Club, Referral Club, Chamber of Commerce, whatever it may be, and you meet some people in there, and then you want to meet with them outside of the networking group. You sort of want to, you want to get to know them be better. I, I joke, it's like business dating, right? And you should do that. And you should do that frequently because that's how you're going to get to, and we highlight it right here, have people know, like, and trust you. If people don't know, like, and trust you, they're not going to feel comfortable referring people to you. I was on a training call this morning and doing this, and I was talking about this. Think about this. If I'm in a group, and people want referrals from me and they may be a fit what they do for my mom or my grandma or my aunt or my best friend you fill in the blank of someone you really care about and you don't know like and trust them and you're like that guy can't punch his way out of a paper bag i'm not referring him to people that's a big thing just in general thinking about that no like trust been around since the dawn of time you know, people are not going to work with you unless they know, like, and trust you. Okay. So then we talk about going into this one-on-one -on -one with a plan, right? So a couple things. Number one, if you're in a networking group and uh, a meeting or a setting, whether it's in person or online, one of the things I encourage you to think about, and I put it right here, and you can copy this. This is pretty easy. This is not rocket science here, guys. Uh, it's a quick follow-up email, okay? I'm going to pull it up in my email so you can see it a little easier here. Strongly recommend you guys take advantage of signature lines. Almost all emails have them. I don't care whether you're using Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, whatever it may be. And basically what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go in here and I've got one for networking. And it says, hey, fill in the blank, Johnny. It was great meeting you at Chamber of Commerce the other day. Want to touch base with you and more about your business and how to send referrals your way. Now, I put that in there specifically because that's going to be a line, hopefully, that intrigues them. It's like, wow, Doug wants to get to know me so he can send me business. Not bad. Who doesn't want referrals? And then I also put, as well as help you understand the same information on my end. The idea I'm planting the seed that, yeah, I want them to get to understand us so that 
It can send us referrals, right? This is what we're talking about here. Then what's your calendar like for? Lots of options here, guys. Coffee, lunch, Zoom, phone call, golf. You, you know, it could go on and on, right? You know, how you get together with people. Traditionally, it's coffees are always big. A lot of who don't, you know, so many people like coffee. It's easy to meet at a Starbucks or something like that, even if you don't like coffee. Lunch, breakfast, and right now, again, just the environment in, a lot of people are doing Zoom meetings. That's very easy as well. Okay. And then just putting next week or the following week. Look forward to meeting with you soon. And then your contact info. Very easy, straightforward to the point. Now, keep this in mind. You may go to an event, you may meet three or four people, walk away with their contact info. You may send an email like this and not hear. Not everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, I want to meet with you. Some will, some won't. The other thing, and, and you may need to shorten this up a bit, but you could also do a version like this via text, right? We know all the research texts convert much higher than email. Think of yourself. You want a faster response from Doug, you're more likely to get that via text than email. So there's a signature line, and part of this is having that follow-up, that planting that seed of, I'm going to be really targeted with my networking, and I'm going to make the most out of it. And part of that goes to, when I go to these meetings and I meet some people, and oh, by the way, if you've ever seen these before, and I actually walk out with some business cards, what am I going to do with them? How am I going to follow up with them? Okay. And then from there, we talk about the one-to-one -one itself. Okay, so we want to think about, well, what do I do in the one-to-one? -one? So I just put a few easy ones here. Tell me about your job, your career. What's a good referral for you? Those are no-brainers, okay? The idea, and we also put this in here too, the idea that, that givers gain. You know, you give to receive. These are great principles that are just, they're timeless. If you go in with that mindset that you're going to give to receive, that's going to help you. That's going to be a benefit. The more you can help other people, the more it will come back to you, okay? And then we've got a worksheet here that I found from when I was really involved in some networking at BNI. And this was on, you know, some questions that you can utilize in a one-to-one, -one, right? So this is kind of a one-to-one -one game. These are some more uh, specific questions. Tell me about the profession you most enjoy working with. Who's your ideal client or your most recent client? Name a problem that I would hear someone say to indicate they need your help. What's not a good referral for you? Um, what's the best comment you've ever heard regarding your business? You know, what other marketing methods do you use outside of networking? All of these things are really good, just open-ended questions to get to know people, guys. Like anything else, this stuff is not rocket science, and I would encourage you, if you're not, if you're the person that is a little more shy and introverted, and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to do it, just start, just try, right? Uh, there's really no magic to this and you can overcome so much with just hard work and dedication. So guys, this was again kind of a, an eight minute crash course on how to do some networking, how to think about that 30 second, how to be structured and set yourself up to win and have a follow up plan in mind after you've done some networking. And then what does that one to one look like? How can you make it an effective one to one? How can you ask good questions, get to know them, help the other person, hopefully the same is returned for you. So. As always, guys, dream big and make it happen. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. And I'm so glad you checked out this video today. Have a great day.